say welcome to my channel. Everyone who has to work with computers as their day-to-day -day job knows that we are spending a lot of time staring at the monitors. Unfortunately, most of us, I would say like nearly all of us, are probably doing it wrong. We're either looking up into the monitors, really bending the neck, which is me most of the time, or we're just looking down onto the screens. This will be the case, especially if you're using a tablet as your monitor. And this doesn't even count the times that you're looking down onto your phones and using your phones. Over time, I'm gonna to turn to the side, we'll develop into a bad posture like this, really putting a lot of pressure, pressure on your neck, on your upper back, and not to mention the nerve system. And welcome to Deskercise. Today, we're gonna to work on the next that you can do while you're at work or while you're watching TV or even sitting in the toilet looking at your phone, but instead of looking down at your phone, try to stretch out your necks. So just to start with, let's straight up the body. Sit only at the edge of your chair. It is an exercise that you do at your desk. So by sitting at the edge of your chair, sitting up tall, this helps engage your abs. Who doesn't want to work on the abs at the same time of everything that we do? This is like a double bonus. Again, sit at the edge of your chair, chest up high, engage your core, that means sucking your belly buttons. Arms just on the side, relax the shoulder. Just to start with, we're just gonna tip the head down and then up slowly. When you're doing it, not to try not to raise the shoulder. Shoulder relax. We're gonna do five down, five up. Let's go. One, middle, go up, back to middle. Down, middle. Point, look up, and down. Three more. Just do it slowly, really feel the stretch and look up, two more, look down, I can already feel on my neck, look up, last one, look down, feel the stretch, hold, 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 middle and look up, really, really stretch out the neck, down. Now we're going to do left and right, again, try to press the shoulder down. Engage your core. Only your neck's moving, nothing else. We're gonna do each side five times. Let's go. Left, center, right, back to center. Left, really feel the stretch on the side. Three more. Right, two more. Left, right, last one. Press your shoulder down. You're not trying to touch your shoulder up. Now we're gonna intensify. This might look a little bit funny, but I absolutely loved it. So what you do is, we're trying to stretch to your left side. We're gonna use the left hand. So touch your chin, try to make a double chin, like really point your chin down, try to make a double chin. I know it looks funny. Point your left index finger onto the chin, just hold it in place. What you do is you tip your head towards the left. I can really throw it on my right neck. Like I'm a right-handed person, so I use, I use my right hand to use the mouse, and I guess that's why. My right side is particularly tight. Back to center. Keep to the left again. We're gonna do five sides on one side. Each time, really try to hold your double chin back to center. Three more times. If you, you're not sure, start fresh. Do the double chin, point your finger, to the head towards the left. You should really feel the right side of your neck stretch, or also stretching out to the back. Up, two more. I love this one for my right side. It feels so good. Down. Same thing now. Try to use the right hand, right index finger to point to the chin. First, make a double chin, point at the chin. Tip your head towards your right. 
should feel the left stretch. Up. We're gonna do four more. Holding the bow chain, holding the head down, and then do the do the toe towards the right. Really intensify the stretch. Two more. Again, remember to hold the double chain. This intensify the stretch from our first step, last one. Now, well done. Relax the hands. Now we try to rotate the head clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times. Let's go. Just do it slow. Bigger the range of motion, better the result. Just really feel the stretch. Relax the shoulder. Again, engage the core. Two more. Last one. Now go back anti-clockwise. Really look around the room. Increase the range of motion every time you rotate. Last one. Now back. So this one in all my arms a little, a little bit, a bit funny. So we use the right hand, put next to around like your left ear. What you do is put the weight of your arm on your head. Now you just drop the head. Kind of like smelling your armpit. Yes, I said it. It's the armpit. Just let the weight of the hands pull the head down towards your armpit. This is like a diagonal stretch. It feels really good on the outside and also pulling the upper back as well. Stretching the legs. And also remember the sucking the belly button. That's how you can also work on your core and breathe. Every time you breathe out, try to bring your head down a little bit more. Three, two, one. Release the hand, shake off the hair, now the other side. Left hand next to your right ear and use the weight of the hand, pull the head down. Now you're trying to pull the head, try to smell your armpit. Yes, it might not be the sexy to talk about it, but I, I don't think it looks that bad. You should tell me like if it looks super re weird in the video, but it just feels so good. I loved it. Now really try to pull your head towards your armpit using the weight of your left hand. You should really feel the neck stretch. Each time you breathe out, try to pull the head down lower. In three, two, one. Release the hand, slowly shake off the neck. This one, I also love it. Right hand go behind your body. Use the left hand to grab the right wrist. Like you can just pull the finger if you can't grab the wrist. Or if, uh, if you could, that's great. And use your left hand to really pull your right hand towards the left side. Now what you do is you look down to your right shoulder and then look up diagonally. Look down, then up. I can feel my neck slip all kind of weird cracking noise, three more. Really, really look down and look up. Try to look behind you as much as possible. And down uh, and up. One more. That's how bad my neck is. Up, release the hand. Left hand behind the body. Right hand, grab the left wrist or just grab the fingers. If that's all you can grab. That's fine. Just pull towards the right side, same thing. Head, look down towards your left shoulder. Then look up diagonally. Look down and up. It feels like a rice, um, rice crispy popping. Like the sound that I hear from my neck is like rice crispy when you soak into milk. It's weird. But that's why I need the stretch. That's why you need the stretch. Give me one more. And up. Well done. Now we've done on the neck. Next up, let's open up the chest. 
work a bit on the arms because why not this is that's size after all so open your arms up palm facing forward now try to hug yourself really really stretching out the upper back open up open up the chest now alternate arm on top really try to hug yourself opening up the back open the arms open up the chest alternate arm on top out hug now the next three we're going to do a little bit faster let's go one two last one hold the arms out high palms facing down draw small circles your hand and your shoulder should be level. Don't shrug your sh shoulder. Relax the shoulder. All you do is just draw small circles as fast as you can. Moving forward first or back or first, up to you. Doesn't matter. I'm moving forward first. Draw a very small circle, but elbow straight. Go as fast as you can. Engage your core. Your upper body doesn't move. That's how you can train your core. Three, two, one. Move backwards. Same thing. We are still lifting, the, lifting up the arm, elbow straight. This is hard. You are lifting up the weight of your own arms and drawing circles really fast. This is a workout on its own for your arms. This is good midday when you're at your desk or when halfway through the show. Just pump the blood towards the muscles. Get your heart rate up. Three, two, one. Down. Shake off the arms. Well done. 